The story of humankind begins in Africa. Around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago, our ancestors, Homo sapiens, emerged on this continent. This marked a pivotal moment in Earth's history. We were a new kind of human, different from earlier hominids. Our species possessed unique abilities. We had a remarkable capacity for language and abstract thought. This allowed us to communicate and cooperate in ways never seen before. These cognitive skills, combined with our upright stance and versatile hands, set the stage for an extraordinary journey. Little did we know, our species was destined to populate the globe. Our African homeland was just the starting point of an incredible saga. About 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, a profound shift occurred. A group of Homo sapiens ventured out of Africa. This marked the beginning of the out of Africa theory. This theory explains how humans spread from their birthplace to every corner of the planet. This wasn't a mass exodus. It was likely a small band of adventurers, perhaps a few hundred individuals. They carried with them the potential of our species. They possessed the intelligence, adaptability and cultural ingenuity that would shape the course of history. These pioneers were the ancestors of every non-African person alive today. Their journey was fraught with challenges, yet they persevered, driven by a combination of curiosity, necessity and the human instinct to explore. Imagine the world these early explorers encountered. They traveled primarily on foot following coastlines. The oceans were lower then, exposing shorelines that are submerged today. This coastal route offered abundant resources. Shellfish, fish and other marine life provided sustenance. The climate was generally milder and more consistent along the coast. Evidence of this coastal migration can be found in archaeological sites along the southern coast of Asia. These sites reveal ancient tools, campsites, and even early art forms. Each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle, helping us understand the challenges and triumphs of these early voyages. While the coastal route was a primary pathway, early humans also ventured inland. They followed rivers, crossed valleys, and gradually adapted to a variety of environments. This required resilience, ingenuity, and a close-knit social structure. Evidence suggests that humans reached Australia around 65,000 years ago. This implies a sea voyage, a testament to their growing maritime skills. The interior of Asia also beckoned, presenting vast steppes, soaring mountains, and dense forests. Each new environment brought challenges and opportunities. Humans learned to adapt their hunting techniques, clothing and shelter to survive in these diverse landscapes. Their ability to innovate and pass on knowledge to future generations was key to their success. Section 5. DNA. A Time Traveller's Guide. Our understanding of human migration is greatly enhanced by genetics. Scientists study DNA to trace the movements and relationships of ancient populations. Think of DNA as a time traveler's guide, revealing ancestral connections across millennia. Mitochondrial DNA, passed down from mother to child, is particularly useful for tracking maternal lineages. Y-chromosome DNA, passed from father to son, illuminates paternal lines of descent. Autosomal DNA, inherited from both parents, provides a broader picture of ancestry. By comparing DNA from various populations, researchers can identify genetic markers. These markers act like breadcrumbs, revealing ancient migration patterns and connections between distant groups. The study of genetics has revolutionized our understanding of human history. Section 6. European Encounters Around 45,000 years ago, Homo sapiens began to move into Europe. This was a momentous event. Europe was already inhabited by Neanderthals, a different human species that had adapted to the colder climate. The arrival of Homo sapiens marked the beginning of a complex and fascinating period of coexistence and interaction. Evidence suggests that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals interbred to some extent. This interbreeding is reflected in the DNA of modern humans of European descent. However, the Neanderthals eventually disappeared. The reasons for their extinction are still debated by scientists. Theories range from competition for resources to climate change to disease. 
Regardless of the cause, the disappearance of the Neanderthals is a reminder of the dynamic nature of our planet's history and the complex interplay between different human species. Section 7, Across Asia's Expanse. As Homo sapiens migrated across Asia, they encountered a wide range of environments from tropical rainforests to frigid tundra. This required them to adapt their lifestyles, technologies and social structures. They developed new hunting techniques, clothing styles and shelter designs to cope with the diverse climates and terrains. Over time, different groups became isolated from each other, leading to the emergence of distinct cultures and languages. These groups continued to spread, eventually reaching the farthest corners of Asia. Some crossed the Bering Land Bridge, a landmass that once connected Siberia to Alaska. This journey marked the first human arrival in the Americas, a testament to our species' relentless drive to explore and populate new lands. The vast expanse of Asia became a tapestry of human diversity, shaped by adaptation, innovation and cultural exchange. Section 8 Journey to the Americas The Bering Land Bridge served as a bridge between continents during the last Ice Age. As glaciers expanded, they locked up vast amounts of water, lowering sea levels and exposing a landmass that connected Siberia and Alaska. Around 15,000 to 20,000 years ago, groups of Homo sapiens crossed this bridge, embarking on a journey that would forever change the course of human history. These early Americans were not passive migrants simply following game animals. They were skilled hunters and gatherers, capable of adapting to new environments and exploiting the resources they found. They spread southward, eventually reaching the southern tip of South America. This epic journey demonstrates the resilience, adaptability and spirit of exploration that characterize our species. The peopling of the Americas is a testament to the enduring legacy of the Out of Africa Migration. Section 9, DNA Tales from the Americas. The genetic makeup of Native Americans provides compelling evidence of their Asian origins. Specific mitochondrial DNA haplogroups, such as haplogroups A, B, C and D, are found in both Native American and Asian populations, indicating a shared ancestry. Similarly, Y-chromosome DNA analysis reveals connections between these groups. These genetic markers serve as molecular echoes of the ancient migrations that shaped the human landscape of the Americas. The distribution and frequency of these markers provide valuable insights into the timing and roots of these migrations. By studying these genetic clues, scientists can reconstruct the intricate story of human movement and interaction in the Western Hemisphere. Each discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of this crucial chapter in human history. Section 10, Unraveling the Past, Illuminating the Future. The study of human migration is an ongoing journey of discovery. Advances in DNA technology, combined with archeological finds and linguistic analysis, continue to refine our understanding of how our species populated the globe. New techniques, such as ancient DNA analysis, allow scientists to extract and analyze DNA from fossilized bones and teeth, providing unprecedented insights into the genetic makeup of our ancestors. As we delve deeper into the past, we gain a greater appreciation for the interconnectedness of humanity. The Out of Africa theory, supported by a growing body of evidence, reminds us that we all share a common origin. Our journey out of Africa is a testament to the adaptability, ingenuity and resilience of our species. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past, we gain a deeper understanding of who we are and where we came from, illuminating the path to a more connected and compassionate future.